Hey, woman of God, you are amazing, incredible. You are deserving of love. Uh, my name is Electra V, and today I'm going to be giving you one tool on how to create a solid foundation in your relationship to build upon. Friendship is the tool. And not the kind of friendship where the expectations are weird, where it's like, yeah, you know, he's my guy, but then we're friends. No, the, the kind of friendship that you have with other people around you that you're not intimate with. And so we have to be able to evaluate our personal friendships. What type of friend are you? And it would even be a good idea for you to ask some of your close friends, even close friends and then friends that aren't so close, um, and ask them to be honest with you because sometimes it's hard for us to see ourselves. But being a good friend takes practice. Uh, for example, the scripture says a friend loves at all times. And so if you're really for someone, I love T.D. Jakes. He has this uh, teaching where he talks about three types of friends. And he, he, he says that a real friend, if you're blessed to find two or three of them in a lifetime, you like you're a really blessed person. But he says that a, a real friend is somebody that that is going to be for you, whether you're up, whether you're down, whether you're in, whether you're out. If you're, you know, in trouble, you're you're in the jail, whether you're having the, the worst time of your life, you're, you know, <laughs> in the Garden of Gethsemane um, or you're at the height of your life. A friend is going to weep with you. When you're weeping, a friend is going to rejoice with you genuinely when you're rejoicing. And, and the scripture says a, a brother is born for adversity or a sister is born for adversity. And so when you're a real friend to someone, then you are going to be for them. You're going to love them at all times. And when adversity comes, you're going to stick with them. You're going to stick close to them. And so uh, the other two types of friendships he mentions are people that aren't necessarily for you the way a real friend is. They're just for what you're for. And then the other uh, side is a friend that's not really for you. They're just against what you're against. And so we want to be the, the kind of friend to our man that, that loves at all times. We want to be the kind of friend um, that, that can handle adversity. And so this is the tool. The scripture says, no greater love than this, than a man lay down his life for his friends. Now, this is the way that man is supposed to be loving us. He's, he's supposed to love us in the way Christ loves his bride. But, but notice the prerequisite for that. No greater love than this, than a man lay down his life for his friends. And so in a lot of aspects, we're expecting um, these men to lay down their lives to do these things. But we haven't even shown ourselves to be friends. The scripture says he who uh, has friends shows himself friendly. And so I want you to, you know, take a minute and kind of try to evaluate that again. Ask some people around you, what type of friend have you have you been? Um, and then, you know, self-reflect, ask the Lord, what type of friend am I? Um, am I am I a selfish friend? Am I am I am I a friend that's a servant? Am I a friend that allows people to just walk all over me? Am I a friend that uh, has too high expectations for people? Am I a friend that has no expectations at all? <laughs> and so it's about being able success is going to come from because we've all had lots of relationships. Um, at least one, right? And so success is going to come from being able to evaluate what has taken place, um, the good, the bad, and the ugly, both your side and their side, and see, okay, this, is, this looks like where error happened. What could I have done differently and then doing that? And so I want to encourage you to set the foundation of friendship. Real, genuine friendship. The kind of friend that you would want somebody to be for you. Better yet, the kind of friend that Christ is to you. Um, and model after that. And if you do that, that will assure um, you all are building on a strong, solid foundation. And lastly, I want to encourage you to purchase my book if you want more tools on this. 
Um, you can get it on Amazon or on my website at oldlifeexchange.com and it's called the 30 day challenge to love yourself and others more deeply. I'll see you next time.